Peyton Talbot versus Giannis Gamori. Peyton Talbot is a huge, huge favorite in this one, guys. He's fast, overwhelming striker with some KO power. He wants to stand. He can grapple. He's more of a defensive grappler. Uh, this guy, his striking so good that he doesn't need to use grappling. Giannis, on the other hand, he's got that kickboxing style, some low hands. He spins frequently, so you're going to lose track of your target. Lower volume and walks backward. You cannot walk backwards against Peyton Talbot. He's just going to attack you, piece together, and get the finish. And at minus 1,600 that it sits right now, you have to take a method. I'm taking the knockout. Uh, 92% of the bets and 82% of the money right now. Vegas, if they have to pay out 82% of the money at minus 1600 I mean, that's a fight that they can afford to be uh, to lose, to lose with, with a whole bunch of public money on it. Bobby, what do you think? Yeah, I really don't have much to add with this. Anytime you have a fighter who is that heavy of an underdog, while I will say in Peyton Talbot's case, I do like him and all that fun shit, but it is a little bit, a little bit ridiculous. Uh, in his very young UFC career at this point in time to have such a heavy uh, betting line uh, to the levels of like Habib and John Jones and everything. But I mean, in this particular fight, you have to look at case by case basis. I can't disagree with it. Uh, this is Talbot's second, you know, official UFC fight, not counting the contender series win that he had. He's won both fights by finish round three rear naked in his debut against Nick Aguirre. Cameron Simon, another bright young prospect in the division, absolutely demolished him in round two with the straight left to ground punches. Peyton Talbot did all this so far. And, yeah, I have no reason to think right now that that's uh, going to stop anytime soon. I wholeheartedly agree. KO, TKO is probably how he gets it done. I am most concerned about his grappling going forward based off what I remember from his contender series uh, fight. I was a little hesitant to uh, – a little hesitant on betting on him uh, once I saw some grappling issues that he had, but let's just say that I don't think it's going to get exposed in this fight. I don't think it's going to be a concern in this fight. And yeah, this is kind of like the biggest uh, bar something crazy, you know, like a freak injury, Tony Ferguson tripping over a cable type thing. This is kind of like the biggest uh, gimme on the whole card. We're going to start doing a little bit more over unders too. This line set at one and a half. That makes it really tricky. For a fight like this, I'm not exactly sure which way I'd want to take this. Which way would you take it, Bobby? Yeah, this one's tricky because Talbot, uh, yeah, that's why they have the over over at the minus 215 because I was just about to say Talbot is not a one-punch guy. He is an accumulation guy just like Shara. Char Magomedov, that type of thing, like a Nick Diaz, wear you down and get the TKO with volume type thing. That is definitely Peyton Talbot from what I've seen of him thus far. So, yeah, you're not even going to really honestly be able to take the edge off with the over one and a half set at minus 215 right now. But, I mean, that's what I'd put my money on. I would agree. I would agree. I think with a favorite this high, people aren't going to want to take that. And they're going to think, well, if he's that good, he's going to get it done early. And I can get it at plus 165 currently and so i think a lot of people are going to go that way and it's going to be a way that vegas can probably reap in a lot of that money that they are going to lose on the 82 percent that had their money on uh peyton talbot you better start listening to the better and green podcast you will not regret it trust me trust me trust me and hey I'm Dean Blandino. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Better Win Green, eh? To Better Win Green, eh? To Better Win Green, eh? Listen in and cash out. That's what it's all about. Come on, let's make cash now. We always on spot and we cover all spot from the bottom to the top, hey. Shout out to Ethan, shout out to Wyatt, shout out to Ben. Welcome, welcome to our podcast. Better Win Green.